हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास इन एर्लियर क्लासेस वी डिस्कस्ड ऑल द डेरिवेशन रिलेटेड टू क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वेक्टर्स इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू रिकॉल ऑल दोज फोर्टीन फॉर्मुलर्स क्विकली इन केस इफ यू नॉट वॉच एर्लियर क्लासेस ऑफ दिस क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट आई गिव दट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन कॉर्ड्स हियर If you are third in all these 14 formulas then you can do exercise problems very easily before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class This is the first formula we learned from the definition of cross product of vectors. A bar cross B bar is defined as magnitude of A bar into magnitude of B bar into sin theta into n cap. In this formula, theta is angle between the vectors A bar comma B bar. n cap is the unit vector such that A bar B bar n cap forms a right hand system of vectors. We already discussed about this in the definition of cross product of vectors, so I am not going to discuss in depth. What you need to learn from the definition: A bar cross B bar is defined as magnitude of A bar into magnitude of B bar into sine theta into n cap. If I calculate magnitude of this vector, what I'll get? You observe, this is the formula for magnitude of A bar cross B bar. If you observe carefully, in A bar cross B bar, n cap is there. In its magnitude, n cap is not there. Why n cap is not there? All those things we already discussed in earlier classes. This is the formula you need to memorize. Magnitude of A bar cross B bar is magnitude of A bar into magnitude of B bar into sine theta. While doing cross product problems, we use this very frequently. Magnitude of A bar cross B bar is magnitude of A bar into magnitude of B bar into sine theta. From this second formula, we can write sine theta. You observe this formula, sine theta. What is sine theta formula? Magnitude of A bar cross B bar divided by magnitude of A bar into magnitude of B bar. This formula we are getting from the second formula only. This formula we use to calculate angle between the vectors when we know magnitude of A bar cross B bar, magnitude of A bar, magnitude of B bar. Next point. In dot product of vectors, we know that a bar dot b bar is a scalar. What about a bar cross b bar? It is a scalar or vector. You observe the definition of a bar cross b bar: magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into sine theta into n cap. See, this part is scalar. This part is scalar. Scalar into vector like m a bar. So it tells you that a bar cross b bar is a vector. If it is a vector, it contains some direction. So, what is the direction of a bar cross b bar? What I am trying to discuss in this point, a bar cross b bar is a vector, and that vector is perpendicular to both a bar and b bar. You suppose this is a bar, this is b bar. What is this? This is a bar cross b bar. You can observe that a bar cross b bar is a vector which is perpendicular to a bar, which is perpendicular to b bar also. So a bar cross b bar is a vector which is perpendicular to a bar as well as b bar. If this is a bar, this is b bar. This is the direction of a bar cross b bar. What is the direction of minus of a bar cross b bar? You can look here. This is the direction. This chalk, I think you can see. Yes, this is the direction of minus of a bar cross b bar. You can observe that minus of a bar cross b bar is also perpendicular to a bar as well as b bar. So what I am trying to say, minus of a bar cross b bar is also vector which is perpendicular to both a bar comma b bar. So while doing exercise problems, if they ask find a vector which is perpendicular to both a bar and b bar, then you need to calculate a bar cross b bar. What is the conclusion with this point? A bar cross b bar is a vector which is perpendicular to both a bar as well as b bar. Not only a bar cross b bar, minus of a bar cross b bar is also vector which is perpendicular to both a bar as well as b bar. And you see this fifth point in dot product, a bar dot b bar is same as b bar dot a bar. But in cross product, it is not like that. A bar cross b bar is minus of b bar cross a bar. So this is the formula we use very frequently while doing exercise problems. A bar cross b bar is minus of b bar cross a bar. You see this one while calculating cross product of vectors. If one vector is zero vector or both the vectors are zero vectors, then its cross product is defined as zero bar. A bar cross zero bar is zero bar. Zero bar cross a bar is zero bar. This is sixth formula. 
Now seventh formula. A bar cross A bar. A bar cross A bar is what? Is zero bar. B bar cross B bar. B bar cross B bar is zero bar. C bar cross C bar is zero bar. So from now onwards, wherever you see C bar cross C bar, D bar cross D bar, like that, immediately we will write zero bar. See this seventh formula. If A bar comma B bar are parallel, then their cross product is zero vector. To prove two vectors are parallel, we always calculate their cross product. If the answer is zero vector, then we say that the vectors are parallel. To prove two vectors are perpendicular, what we will do? That we learn in dot product. Na? If we want to prove two vectors are perpendicular, we will calculate their dot product. If the answer is zero, then we say that the vectors are perpendicular. If we want to prove two vectors are parallel, we will calculate their cross product. If the answer is zero vector, then we say that the vectors are parallel. You observe this ninth one, i cap cross i cap, j cap cross j cap, k cap cross k cap, value is what? As you learn here, a bar cross a bar is zero bar, b bar cross b bar is zero bar, i cap cross i cap, j cap cross j cap, k cap cross k cap is also zero bar. So i cap cross i cap is what? Zero bar. k cap cross k cap is what? Is zero bar. You observe these three things, i cap cross j cap, j cap cross k cap, k cap cross i cap. If you observe these three formulas, a particular pattern is there. If I take i j k as 1, 2, 3, see, 1, 2, i j, you observe these things, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, like i j, j, k, k, i, particular pattern is there. If it is in that pattern, then we can write its answer very easily. See, i j, here k is missing, na? i cap cross j cap is k cap. We already discussed in earlier classes why i cap cross j cap is k cap. I already discussed it is why. Okay. Now here this is following order j cap cross i cap. In this what is missing? i cap is missing. Na? So I will write i cap. In this what is missing? j cap is missing. Na? So I will write j cap. If they are not following the particular order that means i j, j k, k i it's okay. We will write answer directly. Suppose it is not following that order. See this is uh, not 1 2, this is not 2 3, this is not 3 1. This is 1 3. This is not following that order. In that case how to do? You observe here i know k cap cross i cap. So, this i cap cross k cap can be written as minus of k cap cross i cap. See, you know this formula na? a bar cross b bar can be written as minus of b bar cross a bar. Now, you observe this i got k cap cross i cap that equal to minus j cap. So, i cap cross k cap is minus j cap. If it is not following the particular order, you just keep minus and you write the missing term. For example, you observe this j cap cross i cap, this is not 1, 2, this is not 2, 3, this is not 3, 1. So what you will write, you just write minus, in this missing one is what, this missing one is k cap. So you write minus k cap. This is that much simple, little bit of practice is needed, that's it. You see this 10th formula, this is one of the important result. a bar cross m b bar, here m is any scalar, is same as m times of a bar cross b bar. m a bar cross b bar is there, m a bar cross b bar, that is also m times of a bar cross b bar. We derived this result, 11th one, that we will get from this formula only. Something you saw like this. For any two scalars m and n, here m is a scalar, n is a scalar. m a bar cross n b bar is m n times of a bar cross b bar. m a bar cross n b bar is m n times of a bar cross b bar. This is the formula we use very frequently while solving exercise problems. This is important formula. If a bar comma b bar are any two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. If a bar comma b bar are the adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then area of that parallelogram is magnitude of a bar cross b bar. So, to calculate area of a parallelogram, we use this formula magnitude of a bar cross b bar. When a bar comma b bar are any two adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then area of that parallelogram is magnitude of a bar cross b bar. If a bar comma b bar are any two sides of a triangle, then area of triangle is half into magnitude of a bar cross b bar. These two formulas we derived, why when a bar comma b bar are any two sides of a triangle, why area of triangle is half into magnitude of a bar cross b bar, we already discussed. I am repeatedly saying these 14 formulas, whatever the 14 formulas we discussed in cross product of vectors, if you are thorough in all those 14 formulas, then you can do these exercise problems very easily. This is most important formula, very very frequently used formula. If a bar is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap, b bar is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap then 
ए वार क्रॉस बी वार इज डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस इज डिटर्मिनेंट डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ आईज ए के ए वन ए टू ए थ्री बी वन बी टू बी थ्री आई होप यू ऑलरेडी नो हाउ टू एक्सपैंड द डिटर्मिनेंट इफ यू एक्सपैंड दिस डिटर्मिनेंट यू विल गेट द वैक्टर ए वार क्रॉस बी वार वन मोर पॉइंट इज द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वॉट इज दट पॉइंट वी नो दैट क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू ओवर वैक्टर एडिशन यू सी दिस इज द लास्ट फॉर्मुला क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू ओवर वैक्टर एडिशन आई डेराइव दिस रिजल्ट डोंट मिस इट प्लीज चेक दैट वीडियो ए बार क्रॉस बी बार प्लस सी बार इज ए बार क्रॉस बी बार ए बार क्रॉस बी बार प्लस ए बार क्रॉस सी बार सो total 14 formulas we learn in cross product of vectors if you are thorough in all those 14 formulas you can do this exercise problems very easily take pen paper write all 14 formulas one after another spend 15 minutes to 20 minutes time then you can learn all these formulas very easily if you like this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel then what to do subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye